So this is a story about chapters. The chapters of my life thus far, and the ones to come. Chapter one starts from birth, and goes until age probably 11. So I was young, I was really energetic. According to my parents, I was a pretty good kid. I had a great imagination. And from a very young age, I thought that when I grew up, I wanted to become an author. So middle school rolled around. My sixth grade year, I was a humble kid. I hung out with the kids that I liked, and that was that. When seventh grade rolled around, that was the start of chapter two. So seventh grade year, a kid named Spencer transferred to the school. Now Spencer became the coolest kid in the entire school and Spencer was my best friend that year. So by being wrapped up with him, I became wrapped up with the quote unquote popular group. When that happened, I thought I was on top of the world. I brushed off all my friends from my sixth grade year because I thought I was too cool for them. I thought that's what it meant to be cool. So eighth grade year rolls around and Spencer transferred schools again. So I was left without my cool best friend, meaning I was no longer cool by the middle school definition. So I was left without my cool friends from my 7th grade year, and I still had no friends from my 6th grade year because I had brushed them off when I thought I was cool. But it's hard to feel bad about that because I did that to myself. So then, high school rolls around, and my freshman year, I just got worse. I got wrapped up with a girl who was no good for me, and we got in a lot of trouble together. I was a skater, I thought I was a skater, but I have never known how to skate. And I was surrounding myself with people that would smoke and drink every day, even though we were probably 14, 15 at the time. But through all that, I was always too scared to smoke and too scared to drink. I just, it wasn't for me. So summer after my freshman year, me and this girl split, and I had a huge epiphany. I thought it was the worst thing ever. I was so into her, but it opened my eyes, and I decided it was time to make a change. So I told myself, things were going to change. And this ushered in chapter three. And this was the best chapter yet. Life started getting good. I found my love and the last two years with her have been great. I bought my first car and got it stuck in the desert 200 miles from civilization. We're so fucked. I got a tattoo, graduated high school, and dropped out of college. Got myself into some situations. We got pulled over by the police. Um, went on 22 road trips in eight months. Said hello to new friends, and I found my sense of self. So, what's next? <clears throat> that would be chapter four. Now, chapter four I can only make predictions about. But chapter four is going to have to do with me moving out of my house, gaining full independence, and becoming a full adult for the first time. I'm moving out of my parents' house in the next a month, probably into my own place. I have a lot of plans for this chapter of my life. I know it's gonna be a great chapter. It's gonna be the best chapter yet. It might have a rough start. Moving out on my own for the first time is probably going to be hard, but it's going to allow me to have full creative control of my life. And that is exactly what I need right now. I could stay with my parents in my parents' house, but it's time to move on. You need to let go of one vine completely in order to swing to the next. The way I look at it, the world is happening now, so why wait?